Please lift up your two hands and together let's give God thanks for the privilege to be in his presence tonight. Celebrate him and magnify him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my salvation, for my translation from the earthly places to the heavenly places. I celebrate you, Jesus for access to light. Thank you for access to light. Thank you for access to light. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. The rich fool looked up in heaven, said to Abraham, please send Lazarus to go and tell my other brethren. We don't go to come to this place of heart. And Abraham answered, they have Moses and the prophets. If they won't hear them, then would they have anybody to get, come out of the grave? We don't only hear God, we hear those who are sent by God to find a way out of the unwanted issues of life. I had to hear Copeland. I had to hear Gloria's wife to see the light God wanted to show me. Thou hast a fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. There are those people by whose light we see light. But pride won't let many, many, many people get into it. Pride, arrogance. That always go before destruction. There are people in the body of Christ that can only see light through the light they saw. I'm a beneficiary of many of such people. <laughs> it's time to come down. When the days of rising jazz in the body of Christ, and meekness becomes a major factor to secure your place in it. God won't come down to talk to nobody. He has his agents who are sent for the perfecting of our faith. They will come into the unity of faith in, in which they operate. Unto a perfect man, towards being a perfect man, to the fullness of the stature of Christ. So there are people planted by God in his body through whom our faith on any subject matter can be perfected. God sent me, among others, to open the seal of kingdom prosperity to the body of Christ. I didn't say myself. God sent me. I met someone who listened to one tape, Financial Dominion. We met at the airport one time, and he said, sir, that message turned my life around. Someone live present in that meeting, it didn't happen, nothing happened to them. Something was happening in your life this month. The days of financial stress must end in your life. The days of financial distress must end in your life. The day of eating from hand to mouth must end in your life. Lord, open my ears to hear and my heart to understand what you have in store for me this month. Go ahead and pray. Open my ears to hear and my heart to understand what you have in stock for me this month. Hard times are here. No, the hard times are coming. Hard times are here. Famines in diverse places is happening already. 
End time prophecies are no threat. They are the unveiling of God's agenda for the end times. Hard times are not coming, hard times are here. Lord, open my ears to hear this man and my heart to understand what you are saying to me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Jesus, thank you for bringing us to the month of April. In the midst of these 40 days, post resurrection appearance of Christ, speaking of things of the kingdom. Let the matter of the kingdom consider our well being find inroad into every heart this month. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. And please. You may be comfortably seated. Again, the prophetic focus for the month is in the days of famine, I shall be satisfied. Can I have you say that with me? Now say it as convincingly as you can. The psalmist said, I've been young now, I'm old, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his children begging bread. Are you going through any financial stress? The word says, whatever it tells you to do, do it. We are no why. Shame is telling us in the face. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. I'm eating my last meal. For my son and I to eat and die. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. It's so important to know that obedience is the only covenant access to abundance. That equals flourishing in our times. It's like, until you accept obedience, you are not ready for an escape. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are not set. The fear of God means being delighted in keeping His commandments. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delights greatly in his commandment. It's not a fear God, he knows. No, no, no. He doesn't know. Your obedience is the only validation that you fear him. Obedience is the only validation that you fear him. He said, His seed also shall be upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. We don't beg for blessing. We obey our ways into blessings. We don't beg for blessings in the kingdom. We obey our ways into blessings. Our teaching series for the midway services is captioned Working in the Covenant of Supernatural Blessings. Working in the Covenant of Supernatural Blessings. It's a covenant to engage with, not intercessive prayer to die on. It's a covenant. God won't use your prayer to break his covenant. 50 days of prayer and fasting won't get you into blessings. <laughs> it's a witch. No, no, no. Sir, when we are in the covenant, 
you have disarmed all the witchcraft and all witches. The devil is off the equation when the believer is working the covenant. Completely off. Blend that palace. You know where my confidence comes in? Working in the midst of, you know, all kinds of oppositions. If you follow that which is good, which is that we help you. And that rewarded evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. I wish you good, so if you wish evil, you are the one who knows what you are wishing yourself. You don't know it. By walking in the covenant gets the devil of the equations of your life. You can't be in the covenant of abundance and one devil from hell stops your way to abundance. You can't be walking in the light and one force of darkness comes to arrest you. It's never known that darkness arrests light. No force under heaven can render the covenant of no effect. No force under heaven can render the covenant of no effect. I'm not a preacher of prosperity. I'm not a teacher of prosperity. I'm a messenger. Get back home and make my people rich. And I say, what? What do I have? Till I found in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 10, as poor and yet making many rich. Because the faithful God, the husband man that laboreth shall be first partaker of the fruits. So I've not had to beg one day for any blessing to come my way. I've consciously obeyed my way into realms of blessings that's ever increasing. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. Yeah, yes, in pleasures. You can't be on board this flight and carry an identity of poverty. You can't be on board this flight, sir. No. The question they ask yourself, am I really on board? Am I hanging around the airport? When you're on board the flight, whatever is served on that flight, it's your right. It's your right. Question, am I really on board? Am I just advancing in the flight? I know all the schedules, all the scriptures, but never on board. Before prophecy began to have expression in my life, I have been shouting, see what I encountered from the ministry of Copeland. When we were under the bacha, before we got to the bacha, when we were 10, I was shouting, see what I got. As God spoke to me, 1982. You can't find it and not know. You will find it this month. You can't find this thing and not know. You can't find it and not know. You can't find it and not know. You can't find it and not know. So stop sympathizing with yourself. Stop explaining that we are situation by national issue. What is that? Are you a national person? <laughs> What's your problem? One of my close folks in those days wanted to buy a car, one in Kaduna. And he sent to me, I said, well, uh, uh, let me talk to them in Pigeon. In those days, only brand new cars make any, you can't tell what you are doing. Uh, car wash, we had to bring a new car. So that was the time then. So he sent money in, and he said the money has in, uh, the cars increased by, I think, 7,000 or so. He said, never. It will come down. It will come down. I said, okay. <laughs> Let me assist you. He said, no, no, no. I know it will come down. He never rode that car. <laughs> it was just jumping up. I was alive here when I ran dollar were equal. One one. I sold my first car, 1,000 naira. It has four tires. <laughs> you better wake up. <laughs> you better
another way from. Nothing is coming down. You better go up. <laughs> you better go up. Every generation has its farming season. There was farming in the days of Abraham. Every generation is synonymous with farming. So the end time farming is one kind that will spread across all nations. All those who are broken now, just watch. The earth will burn like an oven. But upon them that fear my name, I make a difference. I've been saying it and hear it again. A time is coming when there will be no nation to run to. Same temperature, same heat. But unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise. You shall be growing up and going forth as calves out of their stores. May everyone that is on my voice today receive the same. And align with it. The end time belongs to only those who fear God. People are stealing because there is what to steal. <laughs> there is nothing to steal. What do you steal? I dare not place today that even if you open the door, no, not if we come there. But there's nothing to find inside. And they know, you know, what am I going to do there? A time is coming when things will have nowhere to steal. Can you see the supply of food in the, in the wood of Zadar Pass house? No, as they are using it, it's multiplying from a source you can't see. If that's what's catch you, that's the end of it. That you're going near to go and steal whatever is supplying. That's a trap. But I see you gloriously exempted. I see your household gloriously exempted. May no one here keep trusting in their strength Trusting in their skill. May no one keep trusting in their so called abundance. Which one win can play away? May the trust of everyone here be the focus on God. The covenant of blessing is not limited to financial favor. But procures for us all round rest. By that covenant, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. All your needs. What the sick needs most is health. What the oppressed needed most is deliverance. This covenant has capacity to meet all our needs. And in that sea shall all the families of the earth be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. You have obeyed. You can't find blessing without obedience as its trigger. Everywhere you find blessing, you find obedience behind the scene.
all through scriptures, the covenant of seed time and harvest has proved to be the gateway to a world of supernatural blessings. And that's where God is launching each one of us into and keeping us going, those of us who are already there this month, in the name of Jesus. So abundance is no ambition for us in the kingdom. It's our birthright and redemption. He became poor, that we through poverty might be made rich. And his blessings make it rich, and it has no sorrow. It wards of sorrows off. Wherever God's blessings are, you don't find sorrows there. It's like darkness and light. Proverbs 10, 22. His blessings makes rich, and it has no sorrow with it. No sorrow. Sorrow-free blessings. That's your portion. Yeah. There shall be no weeping in your household anymore. Yeah. No biting of fingers. Yeah. No misfortune. Yeah. Blessings makes rich and it has no sorrow with it. In 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 8, talking about the covenant of seed time and harvest. But this I say, he which sweat sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and which, he which sweat bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So every man, according to his supposes in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly, not necessarily, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able in return to make all grace abound. So are you having all sufficiency in all things? May abound to every good work. All sufficiency in all things. All means everything, less nothing. All sufficiency in all things. The enter into covenant of blessings. In 2 Chronicles chapter 12, chapter 15, verse 12 to 15, and God in response gave them rest round about. If you check that situation from verse 3 <laughs> to 7, they were under distress. God vexed them with all adversity, difficulties. They were despondent. They were in despair. But they entered into a covenant of blessings and God turned everything around. He gave them rest round about. So it's far beyond the bring thorough collectivity. You know? <laughs> bring a penny, collect a pound. Far beyond that. Everyone under this covenant lives in a different world. They live in a different world. When they are smiling, you think they are faking, they are faking it. <laughs> when they smile, you say, no, it can't be true. There must be something behind it. No. Spiritual understanding behind it. They understood it. Before I saw any bank account, I was a very prosperous man by what I saw in scriptures. I, my future was defined from scriptures. I have been living the reality of that future ever since. In the reality of it. You can't find this thing and not know. It's not job subject to any economic climate. It's not subject to any national economy, global economy, zero. We are going over. Yeah. See, we are going over. So this is not about... Uh, have a school of business uh, discoveries. No. <laughs> you know why we need meekness? 
It is walking in the steps of giants that makes a giant. Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the good way. The old path when your father's home. And walk therein. You shall find rest for your souls. But I said, no. <laughs> we are a new generation of believers. We won't walk in that way, my friend. There's no such as covenant. It's just circumstances. Why is it contrary to you? Why is circumstances contrary to you? Are you the only one in the world? Why is it available to others? We will not walk down. He said, I said, watchmen over them. Hearken to the sound of the We will not hearken. Do your worst. He said, Ah, Baba, ba, ba. I will bring it upon you. You saw what prepared. Hearken. Hearken. Pride leads nowhere. Hearken. This church is enough an example for anybody who has any interest in his well being to see what to push for that thing to answer to you. To understand what to engage with for you to be in command of other things. So turn at last. Your future is not in your payback. It's not in your profession. Stop that. It's not in your business status. Your payback, I mean, your, your reward is in working in the covenant of abundance. My reward is in working in the covenant of abundance. May I help, help you on this? God will never depend on you or me. The same with you don't depend on your toddler baby, eh? your three old child. You are depending on him to help you out of a problem. The distance between you and God is far beyond that. God will never depend upon man to be God. There is nothing you give that God is jumping about. <laughs> no. It's from what he gave you. So where is the bragging? I'm not going to give anything. You know, I'm already blessed. Well done. We have never known a down time in 43 years. And you know the way the economy has been. Uh, not that they told me I've been here. I know what it is. To rent a whole bungalow in those days, 45,000 was outrageous. We get If you go to inside, inside, inside of the forest in that time, you won't get it. When they asked me to rent, I said, is it for sale? It's your turn. If you're interested in a future in hard times, wake up. Wake up and take a strong position in the covenant. To secure your great future. However, these are the required foundations that enables our work in the covenant to be profitable. Number one, be spiritual. You can't claim to work in the covenant and still be cutting corners. 
cheating on others. Don't fly. Abraham, a highly spiritual man, I'll not take a latchet of shoe from you lest you say you make Abraham rich. You don't engage in sharp practices to work in this covenant. Your titan is nullified if you're a thief. Titan brings blessings, but still it brings causes. Amen. So it's time to make your choice. Am I going the way of the world? Or going the way of scriptures? I wish above things that that may prosper and be in health, even as a soul prosper. To the level of your spiritual prosperity. Abraham was a highly spiritual man. He was a liberal soul. He would give anything to put a smile on somebody's eyes or face. Travelers passing by must take a refreshing in his house. He didn't know that. By so doing, he entertained angels unaware. He gave Lot all that he wanted. Without wishing him evil. Lot was captured in war. He went after his rescue. And conquered the enemy. Abraham was a titan. He secured heavenly blessing through Mechizedek. As he paid the tithe of all. On behalf of his army. He maintained consistency in his covenant work with God. From chapter 12, all the way to chapter 22, whatever God said was final. He said, Look to Abraham, your father, and Sandra Biadi. I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord has a plan to bless his church after the same order. But look to the steps of Abraham and walk in those steps so you can secure the blessings of Abraham upon your life. If you be Abraham's seed, then do the words of Abraham. That's what Jesus said in John 8 and verse 39. Abraham to be a, a, to become a business emperor without cotton corners with an army of 318 to himself to defend his empire. Remember, blessed is the man that feared God and the lesson is great in his commandments. His seed also shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the oppressed shall be blessed. Of the oppressed shall be blessed. Of the oppressed shall be blessed. Wealth and shall be in his house. His righteousness and the what? forever. It's your turn. It's your turn. So stop bemoaning your situation align with the covenant to secure God's great future already procured for you and I in redemption. No one in your lineage will beg bread. Amen. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God, but was strong in faith, even glory to God. Consistency, 
consistency in season and out of season. Consistency. Consistency. Abraham was a hard worker. God's blessings always comes upon the works of our hands. More often than not. A bless and whatever he doeth, he shall prosper. In James 1, number 25, the word says, James 1, 25, those of us look into the private law of liberty and continue the earning, he not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deed. What he does will enjoy God's blessings on it. In his deed. When I was called to ministry, there was nothing attractive about ministry. They greet your parents to be mourn them. Alone or Adam or Tukusio means that this one is dead. Preachers were known to be beggars because preaching and giving are not the same. Hello? <laughs> preaching is not seed sowing. Preaching and giving are not the same. Jesus, the living word, was a giver. Come on now. What that we are doing quickly to say, maybe to go and give something to the poor, or to go and buy something that we need. Was not a beggar. The covenant of this time is binding as long as the earth remains. Binding, binding on all. The priests, the congregants, binding on all. The apostles, the prophets, the members, binding on all. No man can stumble into spiritual blessings without being a giver with a strong and consistent position in the covenant. Somebody's story has just changed. You are that one, let me hear your loudest amen. So for our covenant work to be profitable, keep doing what you are asked to do, believing. Whatever is not of faith is saying. It won't work. Believing. You are not trying God. You are trusting him. Believing. Romans chapter 14 and verse 22. Go to 23, please. And in that doubted is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Any instruction of scripture you engage with without faith is wasted. It is faith that gives life to our actions. Faith. Where I was notwithstanding, my faith in God's prophetic agenda as revealed to me was too strong to be doubted. Too strong. Doing it in faith is where many of us have problems. Doing it in faith. You give to a needy, and you wish you didn't give a minute after. What went wrong with me? How did I drop that bag of rice? <laughs> Go and collect him back. <laughs> Go and collect him back. <laughs> Every time you regret your act of obedience, the obedience has no more effect. What flies in the kingdom is obedience of faith. Obedience of faith. Abraham said, I believe God is able to raise him back to die after I cut his neck. 
Obedience of faith will always return with blessings. Abraham hold it. Now I know you fear me. Obedience of faith was what invoked that swan blessing. Obedience of faith. Many do obey God in the kingdom, but they don't, they don't believe him. Let's see what he will do this time. I did it last year too. I gave transport seed in my zone. I, I did. What does it? I did. I did exactly the same. Nothing happened. We didn't do it the same way. <laughs> we were trying God. God, let's try you. That's it. I said it. He, he tried. You didn't try him. He trusted him. That shall not tempt the Lord your God. That shall not tempt the Lord your God. It's a mystery. But examine yourself whether you be in the faith or not. So nobody can tell you that. Only obedience of faith flies with God. Only obedience of faith flies with God. Only obedience of faith flies with God. And finally, as we close, given righteousness. So to yourself in righteousness. Let your motive be pure. Hebrews 12, 28. Wherefore, we receive in the kingdom that cannot be received, I mean, that cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Malachi 3, 3 and 4. Watch what he says in that great covenant chapter of scriptures. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and pour them thoroughly, that they may offer unto God, unto the Lord, an offering in righteousness. And what? Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, as in former years. So it's a covenant work, it's not a game. It's not a banking system. You embrace the law and his word that will make the law to work. Then you find yourself working in abundance. Can I hear your loud and amen? Again, this shall be a turning point month for every one of us. This hard time that is not coming but is already here will not impart on your family will not impart on your career, will not impart on your business. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, for someone to be working in a place where you are not paid for one year and you are still there, because you haven't got another job. Am I talking? Are you hearing me? You can't be working in a place and you are not being paid and you are still there because you haven't got another place. A time may come where many places will not have anything to pay. Don't wait. It will be clear to the world that your case is different. Lift up your right hand to heaven and give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks for light. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Matthew 24, verse 7, before we approach the table of the Lord. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdoms. There shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Nothing defines tomorrow like prophetic scriptures. 
But unto you that fear my name, I will make a difference. And that's where you belong. This heat will not destroy your household. Amen. Will not destroy your career. Amen. Will not destroy your business. Amen. Will not destroy your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Amen. Amen. Abundance is one of our redemptive heritage in Christ. He obtained for us power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessings. So one must become a member of that family to be part of that inheritance. If you are here tonight, here in Canaan land, or any of our viewing centers across Lagos and Ota, or around the world, and you are not saved. The only way to assess that heritage is to become a member of God's own family through Jesus Christ Himself. Let like me to pray with you tonight. I'd be more than glad to do that. Hard times are not coming, hard times are here. And according to prophetic scriptures, they'll get harder by the day. Until the whole earth comes under the sea thereof. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? So embrace this salvation message and secure an escape for yourself and secure eternity in grand style. Wherever you are tonight, you'd like me to pray that prayer with you to be born again, to be saved, become a child of God. And a partake of the inheritance of the saints and light, please stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Stand to your feet. I'll be praying for you right now in a moment. Jesus saved my soul tonight. Jesus saved my soul tonight. Church, give the Lord a big hand, please. There's joy in heaven of all so that repent. Jesus saved my soul tonight. Amen. There are also people here tonight that need to rededicate their life to Christ. You have been one leg in and one leg out. It won't fly. Because I neither could nor what, I will fool you out of my mouth. May God not get rid of any of us. You want to return back to your father, your heavenly father, so you can be restored in grand ties, stand to your feet also. You want to return to your heavenly father? God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are, stand to your feet and pray with you at the same time. Everyone standing for both of the calls in all of our viewing centers, please approach the altar area right now so we can pray before partaking of the communion. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. It's your turn for a change of story, keep coming. It's your turn for a change of story, keep coming. Some of us are standing up right now, it's never late. Please stand and join us. Join us quickly. Join us quickly. It's your turn for a change of story. Don't let this moment pass you by. Thank you, Jesus. In all the viewing centers, please approach the altar area. We are praying at the same time. Somebody else is coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Anyone else can still join us right now. Jesus loves you. He gave his life to you. Thank you, Lord. Now, everyone in front, please stop filling those cards and bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I may be justified. Right now. I believe. My sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Amen. Now be blessed in the name of Jesus. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against any further satanic assault. None shall be drawn back from following Christ. You'll make it through to the end. 
may you become a partaker of the inheritance of the saints beginning from this day. Your days of struggles are declared over. He came to give you life and life more abundantly. That shall become your new experience in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please follow the church officials and submit your details and join us right now. Shall we all rise, please? Amen. Now, for the responses of people in church to put in smiles on the face of the challenged, be blessed. You have offered clothing materials, no one in your generation will go naked. You have given up your food for others to have what to eat, you never lack bread on your table. For every good thing a man does, the same he shall receive from the Lord. You have sown your seed to take care of the health care needs of others. You never go sick. My prayer is that the blessings that the covenant offers will start speaking in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's important for me at this point to mention this. It's not only food and clothing we need. People need shelter, so we need money to service that. They need health care, we need money to service that. So sowing your seed into kingdom health care covenant is part of the things needed at this time. As the law lives, no lion will pick any lamb from here Amen. and destroy it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to stand in the gap through our seeds and givings to secure the destiny of God's people. Amen. And now that we're picking them from everywhere, including the streets, we have a responsibility to ensure they are secured in Christ. It's part of our covenant responsibilities. And watch out for it. You never lack what to give. People only lack what they keep. Nobody lacks what he gives. You give of your money, you never lack it. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. Shall not lack. Shall not lack. Shall not lack. You give of your food, you never lack bread on your table. You give of your clothing, you never go naked. That are generations after you. So you are doing all of those things to secure your generations after you. Get excited about it. And to keep sorrow away from your tabernacle. Get excited about it. To keep you rejoicing when others are mourning. Get excited about it. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are the table of the Lord tonight to receive the life of Christ. The life of obedience unto death that results in God's supernatural lifting power. That grace comes upon each one of us. All is that obedience. Obedience to the fool. Obedience to the end. Receive that grace from this table tonight in the name of Jesus. And whatever represents sorrow in anyone's life, including sickness, pains, and discomfort, as you partake of this communion table, because they cannot be found in Christ, they are destroyed in everyone's life. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Let the ministers please come as we serve the table of the Lord tonight. Lift up your two hands, everyone. Call for anything you desire from the Lord's table. This table is ordained to supply for us whatever you can find in Christ. 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 Whatever is obtainable in Christ. It's available to us on the communion table. Call for it. Strength, vigor, call for it. Call for it. Call for it. We partake of the flesh so we can live like him. Call for it. The days of feebleness and weakness are over in your life. Call for it. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We declare every table served tonight under the sound of my voice as the flesh Amen. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. So we take of this tonight. We secure our assets through obedience of faith to the terms of the covenant of blessings. Amen. Let it be our new way of life. Amen. Let everyone who have given up come back alive. Amen. Everyone that is on the platform, keep going. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus, Amen. let no one withdraw a day before their breakthrough. Amen. And thank you for this. You. Let this become the new lifestyle of every one of us. Amen. Let the covenant of blessing become the new lifestyle of every one of us. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Sickness is caused tonight. Amen. Disease is caused tonight. Amen. Every plant of the devil is rooted out tonight. Amen. You are living here with a testimony. Amen. The resurrected Christ will appear to you. Amen. Down tomorrow morning, you have experienced a turnaround. Amen. The master surgeon will show up in your case. Amen. Everyone appointed to death is here by rescue. Amen. The graves are open. Amen. The dead must come out. Amen. And so you are out. Amen. Every terminal disease is caused tonight. Amen. Anyone still breathing in this winner's family worldwide is not permitted to die. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated. Take your turn as may be directed Why the priest team leads us in praise. Jesus, you are my friend, foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my friend, foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. Jesus, Jesus, you're my friend, foundation. I know I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are.
the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Lift up your two hands, everyone, and give God thanks for light. If you encounter some light tonight, give God thanks for it. If there's a reposition taking place in your heart right now, give God thanks for it. If you can see a bright future in spite of the hardship and the times in which we live, give God thanks for it. If you caught the word of the Lord tonight, give God thanks for it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. I'd like you to please know that what we're doing now is not new to our, com to our commission. It's been the practice since inception. Caring for the challenge has been part of our culture since inception, where there wasn't much or there was a heart to be part of it. And we're part of it with the little that was available. And part of the blessing of God we are experiencing today is our undying commitment to the well-being of others. Join this chariot. It's for your good. Like we had in the announcement, we have expanded the distribution center to cover all the area facilities so we can be closer to people to have access to this. Come on now. And also because of time constraints, in our kind of community, we have opened up the church on Sunday to receive some of those items where people come to church in some designated tent so we can have distribution from here to those other locations. So you don't have to run away from one office to another uh, to get across to where those centers are. You can bring them here on Sunday when you are coming and then they make distribution from here to those area facilities. Can I hear your email? Amen. That's for those who are not close enough or who are not don't have their own time in their hands. Please don't be left out for any reason. Be part of this. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hebrews 13:7. The word says, Obey them. Come on now, put it on the screen. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of the Lord. Whose faith follow? Considering the kind of resource they command by doing what they ask you to do. Whose faith follow? It always works. Can I hear your amen? It always works. It always works. I've seen myself put out my thing, my pocket into my very, very uh, rich pocket and pull out everything in there and place the hand of one that was crying, not knowing what he would eat after service. The pocket has never run dry. It wasn't done to, what is your name? No, no, no. This is it. You will do something this time that will turn your story around forever. So open your heart for it. We are in this kingdom business together. Lift up your two hands. Next, next Sunday is our financial fortune banquet. It's going to be awesome. Tomorrow is the second day of this um, spiritual week of emphasis. Connect. After two days, it will revive us. Some fire will come down tomorrow. Yes. That will turn something loose in your heart. Yes. And on the third day, it will raise us up. Yes. You are changing position during this week. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Lift up those two hands, everyone, and give God thanks. Lift up your hands and give thanks to God this evening from the depth of your heart. He's worthy of all the praise. Thank him for the encounters of this night. Lord, we give you the glory. We give honor and adoration unto your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the adoration. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, we have given thanks. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, 
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall